uh, this meeting is a meeting of the Board of Education and Public for the purpose of conducting school district business. It's not to be considered a public community meeting. There is time for public participation during the meeting. So with that, we'll call it to order. And we're doing a roll call before the pledge of allegiance. Let's do pledge of allegiance. The pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. executive session scheduled prior to that item coming up. And then I'll wait then. And Mr. Fleck. I just put it down since I need to. Oh, you, you like we needed your autograph or something? Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> look pretty there. All right, Mr. Stewart. Uh, we don't have anything to report at this time. And I'll vote to representative I see. All right, motion for approval of the consensus. So moved. Okay, first item I have is uh, asking you to approve the June 12, 2017 special meeting, and the June 19, 2017 regular meeting, and the July 6, 2017 special meeting. Also asking you to approve the financial summary report for June of 2017, showing revenues of $4.16 million and expenditures of $3.59 million. Um, asking you to improve the investment control report for the month of June with the balance of June 30th of $30.9.5 million. Asking you to approve the checks written in June 2017 of $3.2 million. Asking you to approve the SM2 report for the month of June. I have a couple donations I'm asking you to accept, both from the Civic Foundation, um, one for the Spring Musical and $1,000, and one for the FBLA State Conference of $300. Um, I also have a contract with Rea and Associates for agreed upon procedures of the Medicaid school program that I'm asking you to approve. It's for a three-year period. And the cost is not to exceed two thousand dollars for each cost report. Um, item number eight is approval to adopt Pearson's eighth grade United States history textbooks for an estimated expense of just over twenty thousand dollars. And then the addendum that got added this afternoon. Um, Item number nine is uh, authorization to accept a release and settlement of claims by and between Salina City Schools and Brenda Fishbaugh for the property purchase for the TriStar Building Project. Um, she was asking for $2,550, basically because we did not close on March 20th, 2017, as was stated in the original agreement. When did we actually close? We just closed July 6th. Was there a reason for that postponement? Just red tape. 
Mm -hmm. Truly, that's what it was. We should ask for an extension at any time. No, and we did. We should have asked for it. That's your rules. Yeah, we should have asked for it. Yeah, but this is not. It, it's it's out of the TriStar project funds. It's it's not in our general fund money. And this is one of those that I really just want to get this thing. Is it for lost revenue? Or? Yes. She's, she's claiming this? she couldn't. If she'd have known we weren't going to close, she would have rented that. And this is the ground north of 703. Yeah, right across from Wright Stadium. Yeah. So it's barren, nothing but solid ground. Nope. Just water. <laughs> Can I ask you this? Where did the, the figure come from? $2,550. That came from their side. That's Probably because she was done her rent. Or acre of that, whatever she was charged for. Mm -hmm. Any questions on anything? I do have a question. Okay. Like a clerical type of thing. Does the screen musical have their own account, or does that money go to the general fund and then back to them somehow? No, well, they have their own account. So this will go into that? Yeah. <clears throat> the uh, Medicaid school program reports that we are required to generate. Mm -hmm. What is that? been doing them in the past. The, the, the same firm, Ray and Associates. Okay. So it's, it's just a continuation. Um, and, and to be honest, $2,000 is a pretty good price, I thought. One more question, Mr. Summer, Dr. Schmeese. This ground that we want to clear up, $2,500, what is the time schedule for work starting there? Um, they're supposed to be groundbreaking in September. Right. Yeah, they wanted to uh, wait till the kids were back in session and have the kids involved in the groundbreaking out there. So there may be some mo earth moved before that, but the official groundbreaking will be in September. Do you anticipate a formal ceremony at that? 1 p.m. Yes. I mean, I mean, in which we will be involved or will involve the TriStar administration? No, I, I think you would be invited okay. if you're interested. Oh, we're in already involved, invited, but I just didn't know if it was informational or if it was a part of the program. Susie wants to know if she has to wear a hard hat and get the yeah. yeah. shelter. High right. heels, you know, yeah. formal I stuff, whatever. Hoppers, I wear boots. I get a shovel. Any other questions for Mr. Summer? <clears throat> Just have one item on the assistant superintendent's report that's to accept the resignation due to retirement of Kathy Flagel, Head Start teacher, after 25 years of service, that to be effective August 1st of 2017. Attendance report under personnel recommend approval of a stipend payment of $250 to Tanya Temple, who served on the Science Curriculum Committee. Under number two, approve one year extended service contracts for the following Warren Drager, Bonnie Dollinghouse, Jim Dorston, Don Berry, Lisa Shepard, and Lynn Ray. Number three, approval of the following one year extended service contracts for the 17 18 school year. Sheila Balsell, Dave Scott, Crystal Meekamp, Wendy Gates, Davis, Tanya Temple, Amy Spriggs, Zenia Adams, Eric Wasty, Renee Winter Simcoe, Chuck Sellers, and Sean Snyder. Number four, recommend approval of the following personnel for supplemental contracts for the 17-18 school year for summer school coordination split between Jason Lukey and Phil Metz. Number five, approve the following personnel for supplemental contracts. Department heads, Katie Dudorf, Drew Braun, Aaron Bowser, Wendy Davis, Sheila Baltzell, Hal Hoover, Michelle Langmeyer, Katie Brosnan, Amy Sutter, Carol Bader. Continue to page three, Teresa Hoyne, Renee Kramer, Megan Hiley, Kelsey Johns, Angela Fisher, Aaron Ashball, 
Kathy Higgins. For grade level chairs, Katie Eichler, Sherry Hall, Kim Goss. Third grade, these four teachers will be four teachers splitting three supplementals there. Jenna Hodge, Tracy Brockman, Carol Burks, Andrea Link. We have four fourth graders splitting three positions. Jackie Spencer, Mandy Wehorn, Lisa By, Amy Flippo. Fifth grade, Toby Seifring and Jess Holman. Sixth grade, Angela Mack Schaefer and Joan Kuntz. Eric Wasty, Sherry Hall, Laura Hoover, Laura Grant, Xenia Adams, Mark Binkley, Brooke Wellman, Annie Holman, Sandy Braun, Mary Claire, Katie Brodigan, Renee Winner Simcoe, Nancy Wilson, April Elvers, Tressie Sigmund, Amy Stalman, Jenna Hodge, Kylie Will, Shirley Kittle, Karen Ashmore are all IAT members. At the middle school we have Jennifer Mesher, and then we have the teachers that share every nine weeks. They take responsibility. Jackie Mertz, Tammy Sisko, Doug Smith, Ryan Spriggs, Christy Binkley, Laura Garris, Matt May. And page four, continuing at the middle school, David Mader, John Udor, Nikki Etzler, Melinda Martin, Brennan Bader, Missy Guggenbiller, Kelly Mosser, James Miracle, Ann Holheide, and then uh, Skills USA, Ryan Turnmeyer, Warren Greger, FCCLA, Bonnie Darlinghouse, Michelle Langmeyer, Couple more skills, Todd Top, Jim Dorston, business professionals, uh, Lisa Shepard, and Lynn Ray. For advisors, we have Jason Andrew, Chris Sutter, John Higgins, Dan Gudor, Tess Watson, Christy Hess, Sarah Zadka, Kel Hoover, Kim Wilgus, Michelle Langmeyer, Michelle Langmeyer, Carol Bader, Laura Becker, Kelsey Johns, Jackie Mertz, Carol Bader, Chris Sutter, Zena Adams, Alicia Ball, Chuck Sellers, Sean Snyder, Joel Trissel, Chuck Sellers, Sean Snyder, Dan Gudor for Marching Band High School Musical, John Gudor for Assistant Autumn Theater and the Middle School Musical, Katie Brodigan for the Intermediate Musical, Amy Spriggs, Pete Lisi, going to page five. James Miracle completes our football staff. Mike Keeney for basketball assistant, boys varsity. Doug Smith, JV basketball. Brett Dorston, ninth grade. Kyle White, eighth grade. Ryan Jenkins and Jason Andrew will be doing the seventh grade. Joey Braun, wrestling at the middle school. Paige Bader will be the assistant swing coach. Then we have Channel 6, Andy Mikesell, Tyler Fawkes, and Brett Bocker. Under number 6, Pupil Activity Programs, Sheila Gudor, The Musical, Sharon Cheney, Sheila Gudor, Autumn Theater, Sheila Gudor, Middle School Musical, Kristen Kearns, Student Council, Kristen Kearns, Senior Class, Val Fetter, Spirit Squad, Jim Lehman, The Percussion, Kristen Fueling, Assistant Marching Band. Jason King, assistant wrestling. Andy Garwood, assistant wrestling. Cody Donner, middle school wrestling. Don Schwederman will be the head swing coach. Dave Kester's assistant swimming. Keith Kiefer, bowling, bowling, excuse me, and Josh Goff, head girls bowling. Following volunteers, first four basketball, Brett Bocker, Doug Stoley, Scooter White, Seth Schmeezing. For wrestling, Justin Momfort and Seth Engel, and Carol Huber for bowling. Carol Huber, Carl. 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 That is Carl. Thank you, Matt. Then we have the resolutions. Approve a resolution adopting a Calamity Day alternative makeup plan. A little bit different that, with that this year. The plan looks the same. We just don't have to get it approved by ODE. But we do need to have CEA sign off on that after the board approves. And have that signed off by August 1st. Approval of the attached forms from ODE to be added to the student athletic packets. 
approval of the athletic trainer contract with rehab services, the cost of fifteen thousand per year. That's with the Hibner Group. On page six, we have a Head Start report that's attached to number four. There's a, a new Head Start policy and procedures for background checks. And you have Amy Escher here if you wanted to ask any questions of her or that. And also number three under Head Start approval of the 1718 Head Start Salina Public Preschool and Rockford Location Student Calendars. Under TriStar, approval to have donations to the TriStar 2.0 Building Enhancement Fund directed towards the Mercer County Civic Foundation. The monies will be put into a fund where all donations will be paid back to the TriStar project. Tanya Temple is counselor with Team Days. She moved from a first grade teacher to the high school counselor. Crystal Newcamp is going to be cut five days from that. Dave Scott be cut two days. And Sheila Holt Sells went down ten days. Did that mean go up? Yeah, from what they were last year. I don't think so. What about no. Wendy? Because I remember the discussion. No, she was at 20 last year. Okay. Her and Crystal were both at 20. Um, backing up to one, was this for Tanya work that was completed before her change in position? She wasn't the only one on the committee, right? Correct. And she was already... actually skipped from the previous Okay. genuinely approved okay, all but, the others. But she did do that before stepping from the position. Yes. Okay. Uh, I have questions about some of the grade level chairs. When you're uh, like middle school team, 100% one person, and then they split some teams 25, 25. What all is involved in being the team leader that warrants a supplemental contract? serving on the building leadership team and attending those meetings. Um, I believe Jennifer Mesher is the one that represents the encore for the special teachers. And then the other teams are split where you have the math, science, social studies, language arts teacher, and they each take a turn each of the nine weeks. Is there a log kept by the person, the chairperson or the team leader to designate what was at their meetings or what are is only to go to the LT meetings. Right. For the most part those are actually kept on Google Docs. So when they go back to the teacher based team meetings, they have that information from DLT to BLT to the TBTs. So there's a flow of information. You have for this too. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Okay. The no. District leadership team, the building leadership team and the teacher based teams. Okay, the question Excuse is similar to what Cindy says. I'm sorry, but go ahead. Well, if it's about this, go ahead. It, it is, later on. And it might be what you would ask because I was over here looking at something on the other page. But under grade level chairs, for example, you know, there's Katie Eicher. She's Eicher. She's kindergarten chair. Sherry Hall's first grade. Okay, third grade. If there's four of them, I don't understand why it's not 0.25 instead of 0.75. Because there are just three supplementals available. And there are four of them that wanted to share with that. So but they all agreed to do it for three fourths of the money. Wouldn't there just be one grade level chair like there is for first and second grade? No, because of their clusters. Okay. That's, okay. that's where my question was. If they've got three clusters, who's going to alternate that fourth teacher? Where are they going to go? I mean, aren't the clusters? supposed to be set up where all the same students are in one cluster and those teachers work with those kids or that, that group of kids? No, okay. those students are self-contained in the classroom so they don't uh, switch. But you have, 
but there's three supplementals for third and fourth grade and also for fifth grade, but only one supplemental for kindergarten, first and second. If I read this right. You also see if you, okay, those are IATs that we have at Pioneer. Mm -hmm. I would agree with you that the numbers from building to building aren't equal because of the different way that they have the teachers grouped in their clusters. Well, what, what comprises the cluster? It's different per building, but we well, don't need that. Third and fourth are in the same building. Correct. So what comprises the cl cluster over in that building? One grade has nine, so I would guess probably two teachers to that cluster. For the most part, there would be one that has three. So is it, is that kind of how like the teams are there at the middle school? Yes. Because at the middle school, there's team leaders instead of cluster leaders or whatever, cluster managers. But I counted 16, so they're obviously dividing those up in fourths, and there's four teams. Correct. Okay, that I can figure out. But the cluster thing, it's like, eh. I thought there were three clusters at third grade, three clusters at fourth grade. And in fifth and sixth, there are four and four. Four, four classes, four classes comprising two clusters. So that makes sense with nine and nine. And there's only two people per fifth yes. and sixth grade, which that makes sense. I just don't quite understand. How there can be four for third and four for fourth without any duplication of duties, I guess, is my question. That's not good because there's three supplementals for the third grade and three for the fourth grade. Correct. Having three in each group would be correct. But instead of splitting that four ways, should it be obviously are there two teachers from one cluster serving as a cluster manager? That one third of the of supplemental contracts can be divided. I, it's a math thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'd have to look at each of their positions if one of them is a title teacher, perhaps, or I'm a special that. ed teacher. It would be um, with the rest of the three quarters. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. I'm without Corey or Derek here to answer those questions. It's probably pretty difficult. <laughs> And if it doesn't have any percentage besides the name, then I would assume that they're getting a full supplemental. Like, if you go to the next page where it says Lisa Shepard, BPA, and then Lynn Ray, BPA.50, Lisa Shepard is the business professional advisor, and then Lynn Ray would be the assistant advisor. Is that what I'm reading that right? They actually both do. Uh, Lisa Shepard does have morning and afternoon classes where Lynn just has the half. So that's I was definitely got a card so that I like that I share among all districts. Yeah, if, if they're TriStar courses, they're shared. Don't have to submit it to the
question regarding the supplementals. Dr. Schmeezy, the new swing coach, Don Schwedeman, and then Paige Bader will be the assistant swing coach, is that correct? Yes. Is Don Schwedeman in the, in the system? She is not. Is she full work person? I'm not sure, but she knows most all the swimmers know her from swimming at the Y. Okay, I just wondered what her background was as far as the swim she's, she's coached the summer program okay. that they've all been involved in for the last quite a few number of years. Okay, thank you. And Bill, for your information, and next time on number six, we're ever list them as pupil activity program. What are we looking at? Sorry. On oh, page yeah, five, gotcha. uh -huh. whenever they're listed that way, they're not a employee of the district. That's why they don't have a supplemental. They have also, okay. And we'll vote on that after the first executive session as the items that we're reading. Right. Okay. We're going to roll call. Take that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mrs. Voorhees. Yes. Mr. Schellberg. Yes. Mr. Gilmore. Yes. Mrs. Pfeiffer. Aye. Mr. Schell. Yes. Yes. Mrs. Pfeiffer? Aye. Mrs. Voorhees? Aye. Mr. Schellberg? Aye. 